Fun story, we have traveled in an Airstream before. We have. And I referenced it in the last video, the B&B story. That we would never, ever, never, ever, ever have a B&B again. And for those of you that don't know, when we sold our businesses, we had just buried Jim's father. He just had cancer. We were having a great summer and got the notion. Let's rent an RV and tour out out in Colorado for a little while. Yes. And that's exactly what we did. And it was a 16 foot Airstream B&B. And even though we had technically owned a travel trailer before, it had been a lot of years since we had. And we watch this now and die laughing. We had no idea what we were doing. We were completely clueless. So, uh, in the video, when you hear how we talk about how a Lexus 350 is towing. That killed please, your gas mileage. <laughs> yeah, please ignore us. And um, fun fact, the Independence, um, we actually saw the sign. At Independence Pass. At Independence Pass that says 16 feet. And we were such idiots. They were like, okay, 16 feet. The Bambi 16 Yay. feet. Let's we, go. We made no consideration for total 16 feet. So Nothing that you're about to see was safe. None of it was smart. But man, did we have a good time. It, we did. And it led us to the RV life somehow. Uh, I don't know how. Pay but. close attention. You'll hear me say, in a thousand years, I would never buy one of these. And yet, here I said. So, apparently, in Amy years, a thousand years is six years. <laughs> We're here at Bear Creek in Lakewood, uh, Colorado. Uh, I don't think that's where we are, but okay. <laughs> Good morning. We thought we'd give you a little summary of day one of our adventure. 16, 17 hours? 18. 18 hours from Charlotte to Oak Grove. Oak Grove, Missouri. Yeah. We're sitting right on the edge of Kansas City. It's right over there. Yep. So 18 we, hours. It's supposed to be 14. It's an adventure. It's an, it adventure. an adventure. We had delays. We had to stop for gas a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, the Lexus tows very well for anyone who's considering one, but it kills your gas mileage. And then every time we stopped for gas, we had people that wanted tours of the little baby van. Oh, yes, we've met so many people that's like, can we see inside? Can we yeah. see inside? So it's cute. We'll show you that later when we get set up in Red Rocks this evening. Yep. Yeah. Um, for now we have another allegedly nine hour drive today. So see you in about 12 hours. Um, First night in the micro Airstream. What can I tell you? Yeah. It's cozy. It is cozy. It's really big to be so small. <laughs> um, not sure if the bed is not properly designed for two people or if somebody just didn't do it right. I don't know. We're going to work on that tonight. Um, it was cozy. Gatsby liked it. He loved it. So we are relatively experienced campers. We're not expert campers. Um, we did it many, many years ago. When our girls were little, we started off in tents, and then a big bad storm came, so we bumped up to campers, and then as your kids get big, they stop hanging out with you, so we got rid of that. So as empty nesters, we're giving it another try, let you know how we feel about that at the end of this adventure. But we're here, we're live, all is well, um, the towing's going well thus far, and we will check back in from Red Rocks this evening. We're at Bear Creek Lake Park. Um, Denver's over that away. Red Rocks is right over that way. And we have our campsite finally set up. Day two was 12 hours. 12 hours. 
And then uh, there was a matter of a small leak in the water tank. Got that fixed. Good job, Jim. And then there was a war inside of our camper last night. Uh, gnats infested. Like, we killed 80. There was bug guts everywhere. Crazy. We had to clean it. It was fun. It was an adventure. Kansas was a what was a great trip. We saw some really cool stuff in Kansas. Um, a lot of wind farms. A lot of wind farms. Kind of looked like Star Wars after yeah. a while. It made the Bambi kind of skate on ice like <laughs> Bambi. Uh, but it yeah, it was all good. It was fun. It, it's an adventure. Exactly. We promised you a tour of the Airstream Bambi. Um, it should be noted, this is rented. In a thousand years, I would never buy one of these things. Um, <laughs> Come on. I know Airstream's trendy and cool and all, but I think you're paying for a name, guys. It's laid out really poorly. We've looked at a lot of micro campers, um, but when you rent, you get what you get and you can't put your fit. So Jim's going to take you on a tour. Okay, so here's the back. Side view. So this is, this is the smallest. It's the... 16 foot and uh, the owner said it's uh to be so small it's big whatever that means so uh so the good morning gets so you have your kitchen dinette right here that does convert to a sofa uh Yes, the coffee pot is the biggest thing in the camper. Uh, kitchen. Bed. We have shower here. We got level, so we slept pretty good last night. We slept head to toe, meningitis style, so we won't be treating meningitis while we're here. But yeah, so we're off. An adventure. See you soon. Hello from Red Rocks. Hey Siri, does bear spray work on mountain lions? <laughs> Glad to say we survived the trail and didn't actually need to know. We'll post some great pictures of that though. That was a fun hike. That was a fun hike. It's not that hard. No, we're, we're not that short. fit, so it's oh. good that it's not that hard or we'd still be out yeah, there. That's true. Um, much easier than like Big Sur. Big Sur is, yeah. Much easier than Big Sur, so. <laughs> the air does get thinner. You uh, fill it when you get to the top. We'll be back here tonight. We're Where coming to see Nathaniel Rachel. <laughs> Hello from Maroon Bells. Yes, Maroon Bells. We uh, just got off the Maroon Creek Trail, yeah. 3.6 miles. Yeah, um, that was one of our walks today. That was one of, one of our walks. Yeah. It, was, it was fun hike, very fun hike, rocky. Um, yeah, I could have done without the snakes, just saying. And how in this large, vast God's country land the snake decided to be right where I was putting my foot at the same time. I don't know. I'm just lucky like that. But it's okay. I didn't get bit. We didn't see any bears. That was a plus. We didn't see any bears, but we were we were very much in bear country. Yeah. There are wild raspberries growing everywhere. And we followed a creek that is very full of trout. So if I were a bear, I would have lived there. We're going to loop the pictures we took today. And gosh, if you ever get the chance, do it. This is truly probably one of the prettiest places I've ever been in my life. Absolutely. It was beautiful. It was one of the best. I would not take small children on these trails, though. Right. It's a little little extreme for that. But as Amy okay. said today, there's no wonder God was pleased after he looked back at somebody. Agreed. Yes. This, this is amazing. This had to be one of his final days. Yes. And he looked down and said, this is good. This is good. This is good. Had a great shuttle bus driver on the way up here. He sings Joan Baez. He does. I, I should have requested Dylan. I don't know. I know. And he sounds like John Denver when he sings. Beautiful. He does. You're right. 
Glad to be sharing this moment with you all. Hope you get to see it yourself someday if you want to. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, it's been a day. <laughs> an adventure is what today is. Been. <laughs> it's been a hard day. So we started out and uh, we came through Aspen. With all of that hope and optimism. It was great. <laughs> and then we hit Independence Pass, which we heard from our good friend Whitney Gray was beautiful. And she was right. Um, you probably should not have driven that with a Bambi pulled behind. That was a- uh... Drive that with anything pulled behind you. I suggest renting a Fiat to drive the Independence Pass. So when we came off the pass- Well, we... first we made it up to the Continental Divide. We Yes, we did. We went up way high. It was crazy. It was beautiful. Um, and you took pictures, right? Because I, did. I didn't see any of it. <laughs> All the pictures I was that white knuckling. Jim was a master two handed white knuckle driver today. Good job, Jim. <laughs> Took us two hours to go 40 miles. Do the math. We were going 20 miles per hour. So good. If we'd had an accident, it would have been low impact yeah. um, or falling off the off cliff. cliff. One or the other. <laughs> sure, we'd be fine. We have airbags. So we got here to the Great Sand Dunes, which is very cool. You can see them behind us. But the majority of our drive, come with me, Jim. Okay. Is that. It's nothing. The most UFO sightings reported are right here where we are. So we were feeling a little apprehensive when we pulled in. But there is a very large, beautiful A-class parked right beside us with Gamecock tags and stickers all over it. Right. So we feel good now. We're with yeah. our people. We are down in the sand dunes. We've been hiking for about an hour now in deep sand. It's a good workout. Good workout. No fitness centers to be found out here. Imagine that. Um, interesting things about the great sand dunes. These are the highest sand dunes in the United States of America. We all know Amy likes to play in the sand. They have not changed shape, height, width, or depth of peak or valley since 1912. And that is because the night winds in the mountain range that we're in redistribute the sand apparently every night the exact same way. And we felt that wind last night <laughs> quite a bit. So it's a very windy night. Very windy night. But beautiful. Uh, beautiful. It's also a big stargazing place to come, which was one of my reasons for coming. But we had some clouds last night, so we had some stars. A little fun fact about sand dunes is if you're a conspiracy theorist, this is where they supposedly staged the moon landing. So we could be walking where Neil Armstrong walked, maybe. Yes. So it does feel like what I would think it's the moon would to feel right there. Yes. This is a really neat place to visit with the family. There's lots of hiking, back trails into the woods to do here. Fishing. Fishing, hunting, yeah. the sand dunes are amazing, but it is really out in the middle of the middle. We did the sand dunes. Curiously, that was our most grueling hike this trip by far. Oops, sorry, it gets me. Um, you walk and you walk and you don't get anywhere. Nowhere. I can't imagine being lost in the desert. And it doesn't it's look terrible. that far. No, you keep thinking you're getting closer, but you're not. No, you're not. So, the sledding was fun. It was fun. It was, it was yeah. like my childhood snow sledding, but I wasn't cold. So it's kind of ideal for me. And we think we should do a study on what happens to dogs in the great sand dunes. Because it wasn't just Gatsby. Every dog we saw, they were just crazy, silly, happy and bouncing and running. So something went on here that us humans don't understand. But fun trip. This would be a great thing to do with the family. Absolutely. So get some sledding on. Don't get cold. Uh, this is our last adventurous planned stop. We're headed out this evening to where are we going? Raton, New Mexico. Yes. And I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly. My apologies. We'll find out. Um, we'll ask a local when we get there. Okay. We're back. Hello. From our big adventure. Yeah, big adventure. Lots of adventure. Yes, adventure was the word. Not that's for sure. Adventure. We um, started off the trip not knowing if we would want to do this again or not. Uh, we were up for trying it. We didn't have a very firm itinerary. I highly recommend that. 
Yes. Keep it loose. If you're uh, naturally prone to being hung up on prompt, tight schedule people, camping is not for you. No. We saw more of the country. And, and, and I think the old cliche uh, of um, it's not the journey, it's the destination. I, I think kind of holds true. <laughs> so backwards. Oh, what? It's actually not the destination, it's the oh, journey. Yeah. <laughs> that works too. Well, it depends I, on your personality type, I, think I suppose. Both. I think it's, it's both. both. It's a little both. We had some good destinations yeah. and some good journeys in that. We did. We did. It's not for everyone, but if you've always had that urge, if you'd like to give it a try or you want to take a cross country road trip, it we weren't sure no we weren't how we were gonna feel yes but i think at the end of the day i'm all on board he's been youtubing other travel trailers and trips since we got them i would say he definitely is i'm also on board but you will be seeing more adventures yes you will jim and amy out on the road with a different unit here's to uh here's to this trip we'll never forget it never forget it this was a great trip and uh I think that uh, I started this trip out by asking if, uh, you know, I hoped America was still there. It's still there. It's it's awesome. Um, so get out there and see it. It's worth seeing. Absolutely. See you next time. Bye. Bye.